and uh, contract scientist in vegetable realization, SKLTSHU. And my title is uh, Production of Interspecific Fertile F1 Hybrids Using Colchicin Treatment. Contains our uh, introduction, history of uh, distant hybridization, features of distant hybridization, barriers associated with uh, distant hybridization, production of uh, fertile F1 interspecific hybrids using colchicin treatment. Introduction, uh, we all know that hybridization is a cross between the two dissimilar parents which shows variability. Variability is the uh, most important one for the hybridization and uh, this is what uh, we are, I, I would like to talk this in. Because uh, as the farmers are uh, cultivating only one type of species or whatever uh, which is giving the highest one and there is no variability as the years are going on. So, uh, as lack, uh, lack of the variability, you know, we, have, uh, we have to go to the distant uh, hybridization. Distant hybridization is nothing but the cross between the species, which is called interspecific hybridization, which belongs to one genera, or the between the genera's, which is called intergeneric of a family. Note, the variability is more between the species than that within the species. The first authentic record of distant hybridization, as I have already told, uh, I will just uh, briefly I'll listen. As I have already told that uh, the farmers are going with uh, only the uh, higher uh, yield, but there are uh, the uh, resistant varieties are there, so uh, we are getting the uh, species, uh, spe other species which are culti uh, apart from the cult uh, cultivated one. So we are going for uh, distant hybridization. It is, uh, it is used when desirable characters is not found in the species of a crop. It is effective method for transposing uh, desirable genes which is not produ produced will be uh, other than the yield. It leads to interrogation, which, uh, which is transfer of genes from one species to the genome of other species. F1 hybrid between two genera are always sterile, so the fertility has to be restored by doubling the chromosome with calls in treatment. Next up is uh, distant crosses. When we cross the spe uh, different types of species, we will have different types of uh, crosses. Uh, it may be a fertile cross or a partially fertile cross or fully uh, sterile cross. There are uh, lots of barriers uh, with distant hybridization, which is more useful like uh, cross incompatibility, hybrid inviability and uh, hybrid sterility. Next, cross incompatibility. This is the inability of functional uh, pollen grains of one species or genus to affect the fertilization of another species or genus. There are, uh, there are three main reasons for cross incompatibility. That is lack of pollen germination, insufficient growth of pollen tube to reach the ovule, inability of uh, pollen male gametes to unite the, uh, with egg cell. These, are the, these barriers are also known as pre-fertilization barriers. These barriers can be overcome by bridge cross, uh, mixture of pollen grains, use of growth regulators, hybrid inviability. This refers to inab uh, inviability of hybrid embryo or zygote. As, uh, as I have told that uh, the pre-fertilization barriers, if, if we overcome that, after that we will get the uh, hybrid inviability, where the zygote will form but it won't uh, develop further and it may be ab uh, aborted. The reasons are unfavorable interaction between the chromosomes of two species, unfavorable in uh, interaction of endosperm with the uh, embryo, and disharmony between the cytoplasm and nuclear genes. These, these barriers are called as post uh, fertilization barriers. Reciprocal cross and uh, embryo rescue are the techniques to uh, overcome this. One. Hybrid sterility. This refers to the inability to produce a viable offspring. Actually, this is not my research work, sir. I, want, I would like to do the research in this work. I am not doing the research work in this one. No, sir, it, it is in uh, vegetable research station, Hanuman Naik, Dr. Hanuman Naik, sir. Procedure for causation treatment. As I have told already that uh, distant hybridization the cross between the two different uh, species, there will uh, we will get the sterile uh, one. So we have to uh, uh, make it uh, to the fertile one. So we are using the uh, causing treatment for doubling the haploid uh, genome, and for uh, uh, so that we will get the fertile one. And uh, uh, we have taken. Uh, I have chosen that 0.1% uh, of causing uh, treatment to applica apical meristem, which is actively dividing cells through quartan swap method from fourth day to seventh day after germination four times a day from early morning 6 to 6 p.m. So that the mortality of interspecific plants will be reduced and uh, seed setting will be increased. Thus produce raw amphiploids and after that uh, these amphidiploids will be back and and uh, we will get the, we can restore the fertility and uh, for that uh, we can, you can uh, use for uh, further crop improvement. Thank you. Sir.